loves, welcome back to my channel. So today, it's October. I can't believe it's October. I'm so excited. Spooky season has risen upon us and is here. Anyways, so I'm so beyond excited that it is October. I love October. I love fall. It is finally sweater weather and the leaves are changing and it smells like it's cold and fall and autumn like outside the crisp air. I love it. So I am so excited. But today is also a very other special day because it marks day one of our 31 days of Halloween series. So for the next 31 days, we will be filming, uh, not filming, no. For the next 31 days, we will be posting fun Halloween makeup looks, like really cool makeup looks, like real cool things that have to do with this um, for 31 days straight. I will be sprinkling some other content in of like some other fun looks and stuff. Uh, maybe some like, you know, not so complicated Halloween looks throughout this. So you might get like two videos in a day. Never know. But yeah, so I'm super excited to share this series with you. Um, and I guess since I'm rambling on for three million years, let me tell you about the video. So, today's day one of the video. So, today, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're doing Pennywise. I am pretty nervous around clowns. I don't really like them. They kind of freak me out. But, uh, I am usually terrified of clowns. But, you know, Pennywise honestly doesn't bother me, which is weird because he's supposed to be like this big spooky clown, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, so I decided to do him because, you know, he's fun and spooky and, um, the movie came out not too long ago. So, yeah, we're, do we're doing him. Um, so I did Pennywise. I'm super excited. Um, and yeah. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel to join the spooky family and so that you can keep track of all the videos, you know subscribe join the family um and make sure you follow my instagram and my tiktok join that family too so then you can also see some cool tiktoks that i filmed and some uh cool pictures that i've taken and posted and also make sure you follow my facebook because then you can see some sneak peeks on the looks i'll be coming out with um and some really fun things on my facebook so i'm really excited about that and without further ado, since we rambled on for another three million years, let's get started in the video. Okay, so I start off by gluing down my eyebrows, which is the, one of the hardest things to do, uh, I find, especially when you're taking it off. And then I put some scar wax over it, but as you will see a little bit later on, I took the scar wax off and just did, like, covered them normally with like gluing them down, adding powder, adding color corrector, adding concealer, you know, repeat the process. Right now I'm taking the uh, Snazaroo Weight face base or face paint and covering everything. Um, but like I said, you will see in a few seconds that I um, took off the scar wax because I felt like it was too bulky and yeah, it looks a lot better without the scar wax, so ignore that part, just cover your brows as normal, <laughs> and then apply the weight of face paint all over. And then I will be taking the cake palette, as you can see, and I'm taking the red shade Red Velvet. Um, this is before I fixed it, so it's gonna look a little patchy, but I'm just applying that all over my lid and crease area, smoking it out. Then I'll be going in with the black from Cremated Palette from Jeffree Star and putting that right onto my lid and again smoking it out just to create a really simple red smoky eye. And here 
here I am just taking a red Mayron face paint little refill thing. They're like the little guys. Um, and I'm just outlining the shape of the mouth, kind of making it look like a mustache right now. And it's almost kind of like when you think of the Joker and you think of his big mouth. That is what I'm doing right now. Then after that, I will take the red again and do the lines, like draw the lines from the mouth up to his eye, as most clowns have, and then put on the red clown spooky nose. And once I finish that, I take a yellow eyeshadow from the cake palette. I take the shade pineapple, outline the teeth to give me a rough shape and look that I want. Then once the rough shape is on, I take a black face paint again from Mayron, fill in the gap between the teeth and the mouth to give the illusion, illusion of um, the mouth. And then I will take the black face paint and give some details to the teeth to bring them alive. Thank you. 
taking some gray eyeshadow from the Cremated palette from Jeffree Star and adding in all the lines and the wrinkles and everything that he has, all the shading, the eyebrows, everything. And then I'll go in with some gray face paint to really deepen some of the wrinkles like in the eyebrow area um, where the like, you know, like your, your eyebrow wrinkles, you know what those are when you scrunch your nose. Um, so I'll be adding those and all the lines around the nose and the lines around the mouth to make it really look like I'm smiling. So all the smile lines. Um, so I'll be adding those with some gray face paint, or sorry, with gray eyeshadow. And I will also be highlighting with the weight face paint. As you can see, some places are highlighted. Um, and that is with weight face paint. painting my whole um, shoulder chest region white and then I'll be going in with the same gray that I used for my face and creating the frill of what they is that what they're called but you'll see kind of creating the outfit um, I'm just creating the collar by drawing a um, line but keeping it very messy um, with gray eyeshadow, and then I'll be doing all, like, the, um, the wavy parts, as you can see here. This is actually with gray face paint, is what I'm using right now, and then when I go in for the shading, um, it is the gray eyeshadow again, just to give it a little more of the depth and costumey clothing look. Mm -hmm. 